Section 1 recipients are Derek Hopkins and Jennifer Moore. At Central High School in Willsboro, New York, Hopkins developed a top-flight theater program, while Moore did the same with the music department. The Section 2 recipient is Abby Leonard of Gate City High School, a standout student who excels in theater, forensics, and marching band. Since the school has no auditorium, Leonard compensates by working on the stage in the gym. Representing Section 3 is Leah Schwartz of Coral Reef High School in Miami, Florida. Despite almost dying from a collapsed lung at age six, Schwartz has excelled in the performing arts, athletics, and academics. Lydia Dowley of Decorah, Iowa, who is afflicted with cerebral palsy and is in a wheelchair, is this year's Section 4 winner. Speaking through a special device, Dolly is an outspoken advocate for people with disabilities. The Section 5 recipient is Rapid City Central High School Theater Department Director, Justin Speck. Among his greatest accomplishments is the formation of Advocates for Creative Theater Students, a parent and community support network for the department. Longtime speech coach Frank Spera of Denver Mullen High School is the Section 6 recipient. For the past 57 years, Spera has distinguished himself at the local, state, and national levels and has long been recognized as the preeminent speech coach in the nation. The Section 7 winner is Clint Eaton of Riverton, Utah. Over the years, Eaton has produced numerous plays and musicals and developed an exemplary theater program. Eaton possesses an innate ability to bring out the best in his students. And from Section 8 is Aubrey Lucas of Diamond High School in Anchorage, Alaska. Despite being blind since birth, Lucas is an outstanding flute player who was named to the All-State Band four years and is consistently among the top flute players in the state. For centuries, music has had the ability to do many powerful things. It can make you sing, it can make you think, and it can make you feel. However, for one very special young lady from Miami, Florida, music provides the amazing power to give back and to help others. That young lady is Leah Schwartz, the inaugural recipient of the National High School Heart of the Arts Award. A recent graduate of Coral Reef High School, Leia is a modern-day Renaissance woman who excels in the performing arts, athletics, and academics. I just can't believe the, the incredible woman that she has, has become, even overcoming all the obstacles that she has had to, and a well-rounded young woman. I mean, it's just not the singing, but it's the athletics and it's the, the academics. I mean, she's got, it, she's got it all. And it's incredible to find a kid that has all these amazing qualities, and Leah has that. She's an incredible performer, an incredible composer, an incredible athlete, and an incredible scholastic student. She happens to play three sports all in the fall season, which is very challenging in itself. Uh, she's a golfer a bowler and a swimmer on each of our varsity sports teams. She's been on those, all three of those varsity teams for four years, beginning all three varsity as a freshman. While her academic career and extracurricular activities are nothing short of astonishing, they are made truly incredible by the fact that Leia has been battling life-threatening health issues from a very young age. When I was little, I got really sick. I, it was just a normal asthma attack which turned into a spontaneous pneumothorax which is called, a, it's a collapsed lung. And I was on the critical list for two weeks and the doctors didn't think that I was going to survive and I guess I was their miracle child. 
And so after that, my life was completely restricted. I basically became a couch potato. I couldn't run. I couldn't play soccer and basketball like I used to. I couldn't even go to the beach because they were afraid of something getting into my lungs. And I became kind of depressed, and I, I couldn't do anything I had once loved. And the doctors recommended that I start singing because it's a good form of therapy for your lungs. The breathing exercises could help expand my diminished lung capacity. But they never thought that I would actually have talent and that I'd come to fall in love with it. And it's one of my biggest passions now. Up there in his little castle, no one ever would know who he really was. Leia was six years old, almost. It was just before her sixth birthday. And the kindergarten teacher called us because while they were jumping rope on the playground, Leia had a very unusual cough and it concerned her. She didn't seem to be able to catch her breath and she couldn't stop coughing. She just couldn't control it. So we took her in and after being examined, they decided to admit her to the hospital. At first they said, let's just go over to the hospital for a chest x-ray. And we were at the hospital for the chest x-ray and the doctor came in wanting to put IVs in both of her arms. So what had happened in the meantime was that where the slight swelling had turned into something. You've probably seen these horror movies where you know the creature's head expands, expands, and blows up. Leia's neck and face blew out like this. And the doctor comes in and he just touches it and he says, okay, spontaneous <laughs> pneumothorax. We'll do it right here in the bed. He said, get me a cart. I need a surgical tray. Let's go. And the nurses are running around the room. Meantime, my wife's outside trying to understand what's going on and Leia's holding my hand. And I looked at the doctor and I said, what's going on? He said, her lung just collapsed. We have no time to take her to the operating room. We're gonna put a chest tube in now to try and reinflate the lung to help her breathe. <clears throat> and at that point, <clears throat> sorry, Leah turns and looks at me and says, daddy, help me, daddy, help me. And it might be <clears throat> 11 years, but it doesn't matter. It's the worst thing that you can ever see, you know, your child in distress like that. Despite those challenges, Leia finds the inner strength and the time to selflessly give back to her community. For Leia, music has the unique power to make the world a better place. Along with her longtime mentor and friend John Rose, Leia founded Healing Harmonies, an organization dedicated to forming a connection through music and health. When I met my friend Kenzie, who had cancer, and I still remember every day I'd go visit her in, in the cancer wing, and the first thing she'd say is, Leia, sing to me. And I mean, that really helps you yeah. understand that you can make a difference, even with just the simple song. That's great therapy to music. Yeah, that's why I love it. I was on a music reality TV show, and it was for singer-songwriters, and every week we had to write a new song to a different theme. And I wouldn't have found out about that if it wasn't for Mr. Rose saying, you need to audition for this. And for one of the weeks, we had to write a song about someone who has inspired us in music and in life. And I wrote about Mr. Rose. I remember when I was young, not sure who I'd become. You taught me to believe in who I could be. Push me and the chorus basically says, like, you never give up, you never look down. You teach us all that dreams can be found and that's really what you, te you teach all of us in this program is that if we put our minds to it and we can't let anything stop us we can achieve whatever we want. You never give up, you never look down, teach us all that dreams can be found. With your baton you always carry It's in our heads.